Um, we are really excited to kind of share some updates that we have with everyone, and we'll be running through a few different tools that we've created. Um, we really want to help promote the ecosystem news and product announcements from all the different members of our communities. So we've really tried to create some new tools and processes to do that because it's important to us that y'all are successful as well. And so we definitely welcome today any feedback that you may have. Um, I may mute the line during the call just to kind of prevent and there from being too much background noise, but I'll unmute it during. Um, so if you have any questions, if you want something clarified, please feel free to drop it in the chat box in the lower left-hand corner. And um, we'll be able to address those questions throughout the call as we're going through this. Um, and if there are any outstanding questions at the end, we'll leave some time for that as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen, and then we are going to run through um, the new OpenStack Foundation news page. And like I mentioned earlier, I have Robert Cathy and Jennifer Fowler from Cathy Co. on the line as well, who is our PR team that helps us with a lot of our announcements. And so Jennifer this morning is going to talk about our news page, which you can find at openstack.org slash news. And she'll run, um, show you how you can post a news article that will be featured not only on the news page, but in other places on the OpenStack website as well. So with that, I'll just hand it over to Jennifer. Great. Can you hear me? Yep. Good. Okay. Well, let me start by giving you a preview of the news page. The news page is organized into three sections. The top section is the banner that rotates. This is primarily for OpenStack Foundation news, particularly breaking news that is important for the community. The second section is a little bit lower on the page. It's called Feature Articles. This section also is specifically for OpenStack Foundation news. These articles are going to be a little bit more um, durable in terms of time and will include things like case studies and some major um, news about the integrated releases and things like that. The bottom section, the third section of the page, is the section that you will be most interested in. Because this is where members of the community can post their news. We have put in a few dummy articles, if you will, and I just want to recognize the fact that these are uh, releases that Robert and I had access to and were approved to use. And so we're going to encourage you to immediately help us fill out this page by posting news of your own. See to the right that we have a sidebar that lists the upcoming events for the, the foundation and the community. Um, let me pause here and just make one note about the recent news. As more articles are posted to this section, they will continue to roll and scroll down. And we will be able to maintain articles on the site and archive them so that um, your news stories will be here indefinitely. The exception would be if you wanted to put a withdrawal date into the form as you supply your news. And that expiration date would trigger us to remove your news from the page. Um, the articles that are posted here will also feed into a news link on the home page. Allison, can we show that? with us here? Yep. There we go. There we go. 
I see it now. Okay, um, on the OpenStack.org homepage, as you scroll down, you will see this that lists upcoming events to the left and news to the right. And so the articles that are posted on our news page will feed in to help populate the items in this section that will be visible to visitors on the on the website as a whole. So that's that's a nice little feature. It gives some extra exposure. Okay, we can go back to the news page. Okay, let me um, point out here before we leave this that when you post news to the news page, the headline shows up as a linkable um, headline. Um, there is also a subhead. It's called a summary on the form that you fill out. And um, the headline is ideally 150 characters or less, and the summary would be ideally 350 words or less. Those guidelines are to you on the form where you submit your news, but I wanted to just point out as you're filling out that form, this is how those particular fields appear on the news page. If you click the linked headline, it takes you to the full body of the release. There seems to be a little bit of a technical issue with that right now, but I can slide okay. that to our web team. Okay. Okay. Well, in, in any event, um, typically when you click on this um, highlighted link, it takes you to the full article, and it includes a logo if you have uploaded a logo. Um, and uh, so that's very nice. Uh, if we scroll back up, to the top of the page, I wanted to point out some important links at the top of the page. Let's see, I'm not seeing those. Can we scroll a little higher? There we go. Okay, so you'll see at the top of the page we have three links at the top. The first is the post a news article link. This will take you to the form fill to post your article. We also have review the editorial guidelines, and we're going to go to this. And then we have another link to the marketing portal. And Allison's going to take us to the marketing portal in just a little bit. But for now, let's look at the editorial guidelines and talk about what um, we intend for this news page. Um, to be for the community and uh, why we've created it and uh, what guidelines that we plan to, uh, to observe in posting the news. Okay, as Allison will explain, the news page is one of many opportunities that the Foundation provides to community members to share news uh, and information with the community. Um, and as I have described, it is organized into the three main sections, the banner section, the featured articles, and recent news. The first two are reserved for the foundation, and the recent news are for all community members. Um, we hope that this will be a source of factual, timely, and relevant news for the OpenStack community. And the intention is that all the articles that appear here would be supportive of the Foundation's missions and goals. And if there's ever any question about that, then, then the article will not be posted. Um, we uh, will observe the community code. And we ask that, um, that you take the time to spell check, proofread, and submit your news releases, preferably in Associated Press style. Um, and we will be watching to make sure that your news item is announced only once on the news page, and that's only to keep things fair. There is a limited amount of space, and we just want to make sure that um, we're not repeating the same stories over and over again. So um, post once and, and well. Um, also, um, 
please make sure that if you're using um, OpenStack or any element of the OpenStack brand that you're following the brand guidelines. There are a few things that we do not intend the news page to uh, serve, and that would be if you have advertisements or sales going on, that, that would not be something that we would want to put on the page. Uh, if it's an editorial or primarily an opinion piece, again, the better place for that would be a blog instead of news page, um, and preferably a blog on your own site. Um, we would rather the promotion not be for content that's behind a sign-up wall. We want the um, information that you're providing to be openly available for free um, to the community. Along those same lines, um, we will not accept fundraising appeals. Um, the news page is not job openings. We have an alternative there for the OpenStack job board. So if it's about a position, vacancy, or job, uh, re or recruiting, or anything like that, then please use the job board instead of the news page. Obviously, we will avoid anything that is of a political, religious, or general social, social nature, and this would not be the place for any kind of candid passages for OpenStack Foundation elections. Now, with all those, this is not what it's for. Let me let me quickly turn our attention attention to what the page is for. This is this is where the rubber meets the road. We want these kinds of articles on the page. Um, any kind of update or status report on OpenStack projects and programs, um, announcements about OpenStack community events, news about your customer relationships and your partnerships in the OpenStack ecosystem. If, you, if your organization has won a, a corporate or perhaps there's someone in your organization who's won an individual award pertaining to um, excellence within the system, uh, the ecosystem, then we would welcome that. Uh, we will, this will probably be the biggest um, category, and that would be product developments, version updates, service enhancements, technological innovations happening within the community. We want that news. Um, if your business is expanding, hiring, um, if you have executive level staffing changes, and please limit those to executive level, um, we would like to hear about it on the news site and share that information with the rest of the community. Similarly, if you um, are receiving financing and funding, if you have merger and acquisition news, that would be appropriate. And if your organization is participating in trade shows or events, if you have um, folks who are speaking, um, and particularly when you're representing OpenStack uh, topics and the OpenStack community, that would be ideal for the news page. Um, in order to be fair to all members of the community, we're going to have a general uh, guideline to limit each company to two postings a month. Um, we will uh, relax those rules a bit during the summit months because we know a lot of folks have multiple announcements during the summit months, and we will try to try to be a little um, less strict during that time period. But um, in general, in order to not um, have one organization dominate the news page, we will ask that you pick your two top announcements for the month and, and submit those. Robert and I will be responsible for reviewing the submissions and posting them and making them live. So once you fill the form in and submit it, it gets reviewed by the editorial staff. And assuming that everything meets the guidelines, we would be um, attempting to get that posted and made live somewhere between two and three days after you submit it. So please plan ahead for that. And if it's a time sensitive um, issue, please allow us that time to review and get it posted to the page. The system does allow for you to post an embargo time. So you should be able to post your news well in advance of when you want it to appear on the page. And that would help us out if you could possibly do that. Um, the way to submit, I've mentioned this several times, but, and we're going to go into it in depth in just a second, but the way to submit your news is to use the upload. You can go to the news page and click Add a News Story, and it will take you straight there. Um, 
I would recommend that if you're going to be using this a lot, you just bookmark that um, form, and um, it makes it very easy to, to fill in your news. So let me, let me stop there and just see if you have any questions about the editorial guidelines. And the line is unmuted, so if you have a question, feel free to just go ahead and um, just jump right in. Okay, any questions or concerns about the guidelines? Just a quick question. Um, I'm, I'm not on the, able to look at the slides or, or the screen share at this point. I'm just on the phone. Uh, but I'm assuming these guidelines are posted somewhere that we'll be able to read and, and um, there will be a follow-up with some links or something like that that I can easily get to when I'm, Absolutely. When I'm back. Absolutely. Okay. When you're at openstack.org slash news, um, there is a link at the very top of the page for the editorial guidelines. So um, it is a posted page on the website and available at all times to see. Also, let me just point out that um, the contact information for Robert and um, me is at the bottom of the page. Feel free um, to send us an email offline and we are happy to answer any questions um, that you may have about the page. Our phone numbers are there as well. Thank you very much. Okay, um, Allison, can we go back and show the link to the Post a News article at the top of the page there? And uh, let's click on that and follow through. Okay, when you click Add a news article. You're taken to a form fill. And let me just say as I go through this that we're still working with this a little bit. It is functional and should be um, definitely able to handle most of our postings immediately, but we are tweaking it in a few places, and I'll try to point out a couple places that, that we're making adjustments to as we go through. As I mentioned earlier, the first uh, field in the form is the headline. We've asked that you keep that to 150 characters. And in all of these fields, inserting plain text is, is uh, required. If you try to insert something copy and pasted from Word or something like that, the, the form doesn't like it very much. So my strong recommend is that you type originally to the form, or if you're going to paste into the form, uh, paste plain text. And then use the forms tools to um, add formatting to your text and to establish hyperlinks. The summary, as I've mentioned, should just be a, a short paragraph, no more than that, that summarizes your news. And this appears on the news page um, as the summary to your article. Okay, the next fields are city, state, country. If you want to include tags that will be recognized um, by search engines and crawlers, you can do that. Um, and then the, the next most important, um, actually, field is the date of article or release. So if you want to date that ahead by a week or a few days, we will recognize that embargo. Again, in the body field of the form, let me just stress that for the form to work best, I highly recommend that you create a, a plain text version of your document and use it to copy and paste it into the body field. Then use the formatting tools on this box to format your document. I will call attention in particular to the link. Um, what I recommend is that if you want to incorporate a hyperlink into your news release, 
that you highlight the, the word or the phrase in the document and then the hyperlink logo will become um, lit. And then once you click on that, you can insert the URL for your hyperlink and that's the way to establish those. Um, again, if you try to paste from Word into this particular box of the form, um, it can make some real screwy things happen with the HTML. So it's, um, I definitely would recommend plain text and use those formatting tools to form, format your document. If you would like to provide a link to your website, you can insert it in the link field. And if you would like for a logo to appear um, on the full page of your text, you can drop a file or attach a file from your computer. This is one of the areas that we need to tweak. Uh, tweak. We have determined that in order for the logo to size correctly, it needs to be exactly 300, 100 pixels. 300 pixels wide by 200 pixels high. So we will be modifying that recommendation that you see above the box here to um, indicate that that's the size. So you'll want to take your logo, resize it, and make sure it's 300 by 200 before you attach it from your computer. Hey, uh, and Jennifer, this is Robert. Just real quickly, we, we recognize that not everybody's logo is, is scaled that way. So what we're talking about is adding appropriate white space or um, – and I, I guess we'll have to work through some of this as we go forward to make sure that these logos all render correctly. So just bear with us as we, as we get that ironed out. But for right now, you just need to add white space around your logo to make it 200 by 300. Correct. Correct. Good point. Okay, um, the next section of the form is simply your name. Um, this is important contact information so that as we review the document, if we have any questions and recommendations that, um, about uh, changes that need to be made to make it uh, observant of the guidelines, then we can contact you and let you know that. So very important information and required fields actually. So once you have it all uh, filled in, you just hit the Save button, and what you um, uh, receive then is acknowledgement that it has been submitted. It, again, will not appear immediately on the page because it is put into um, an editorial queue uh, that Eric and I and our team will review. And as we do review it and, and uh, place it on the page, it will appear for all to see. And we will do our best to make sure that that happens within 48 hours. Um, but please allow 72 um, if it's something very time sensitive. And just be aware that, that, it does, that we will receive an enormous amount of, of news and so it will take us some time to get, get through that. And again, if you have any questions or if something goes wrong as you're filling out the form or you have a thought that maybe you did something incorrectly, um, feel free to shoot us an email. You'll find our names and email uh, addresses at the bottom of the editorial guidelines form, and we'll be happy to check that for you before the post goes live. Or even if you see something after it is live that, that needs to be changed, let us know. But hopefully uh, that will not be required very often. Let me stop here and see if there are any other questions about filling out the form. Okay, great. Um, as I said, the form is live. We're taking news now. So if you have press releases that you would like to share, um, you have two submissions for the month of February that you can get in in the next week and a half. And uh, we hope that uh, you will all, um, within a day or two, start posting your news to the site and help us spread uh, the, uh, the good news about what's going on in the community and show the momentum that we have uh, within OpenStack. Okay, I'm going to turn it back over to Allison, and she's going to explain the marketing portal and some of the other ways the foundation is um, working to share the news among the community. 
Thank you, Jennifer. Um, so like Jennifer said, there are several other opportunities that we would like to open up to the community um, to make sure that all of your announcements and launches are successful. So in this top banner above the rotating news, you'll see a, another button for the marketing portal. And this is an existing page that um, we've been working to update um, with more information on content and even just assets that you can leverage, whether it's at an event or on your website as well. So first I'll give an overview of the web page, and then we're going to go deeper into the Make Some News option where we'll go over some social media guidelines as well as other opportunities like Super User that you can use to share your company and customer news. So at the very top you'll see we do have some um, landing pages where you can see um, just some general guidelines on where you can promote your case studies, if you want to plan or sponsor an OpenStack event, and then how you can brand your OpenStack product. Each of these we can look at and it will include the contact information for the member at the foundation where, is that where we can help you make sure that you are in um, coordinates with our guidelines and so that we can help you make your event or product successful. We then down here have some graphics that you, we, you can download directly from our site. We are in the process of making sure that these are up, more up to date, but you will find here some t-shirt graphics, graphics that can be leveraged in events. And we also um, update this with every release cycle with the new um, logo for the release. So when Kilo comes out, you'll be able to download the Kilo logo here as well. And then towards the bottom, we have all of our collateral and presentations. Later this, um, in the next month or so, we'll be launching the OpenStack online store where you'll also be able to download and even have some of these collateral pr um, printed for you if you'd like to have them shipped to your booth or an event that your company is sponsoring. Um, some of these are more expensive or are more um, tailored for like enterprise audiences, or some of them are just data sheets that can be used for general um, general presentations. To the right, you'll see the uh, stream of our most recent case studies. These will be updated as we have new case studies, whether they're living on the uh, OpenStack website or if they're going to be over on the super users. So you can share these with your customers. And um, you can, if you do have customers, please let us know that if you'd like to bring them forward and we can um, help you create a case study and then feature you on the marketing portal as well as an example um, within the community. We then have some super user videos that you can download. Um, these, are just, these feature a few members of the community and um, kind of do an overview of um, the OpenStack ecosystem, how to get involved in the community, and some of the benefits um, that you, um, some of the benefits of getting involved that you can share at events or um, internally as well. And then a few more event collateral, and we're going to be combining this up here with the um, graphics that you saw earlier. So it's all in one place if you do want some. OpenStack Foundation branded collateral to, sh um, to create your own swag or um, material for your events. So going back up to the top, um, first I want to go into the Make Some News category. So this is where um, you, we have more opportunities for you to share your news, any announcements that your company is making so that we can help you be more successful. Um, the first thing to, um, it kind of to keep in mind before we get started, just understand that like Jennifer said, there are a lot of requests coming in. So please um, understand that we can't necessarily endorse one company over another, but we, um, but we, will, we do want to um, create a level playing field and um, share everyone's news. And um, with the, if given an amount of time, we can um, kind of try and accommodate everyone. The more information and context you can provide about your announcement, the better. So, um, below there is going to be information on if you would like a quote from one of the um, foundation staff members, the kind of process for going through that as well. And then if you are announcing an OpenStack product, we do uh, have a link here to the um, brand guidelines as well as an email address that you can contact if you have any questions whatsoever around the launch and you'd like some input from the foundation staff. Um, we'd be more than happy to get in contact with you and review your product before the launch. Under the volume, um, we have some of our other outlets and some of the general guidelines that we wanted to kind of overview here. Um, the first is social media. So first, of course, reference the editorial guidelines linked to 
from the um, OpenStack news page. This is kind of a really good set of rules that um, Jennifer went over about what kind of content we will and won't be promoting just so everyone's on the same page and we can, um, ex we can um, accept the same kind of content from everyone. We request that you um, um, share your promotion from, um, for the foundation social, social media channels um, at least 48 hours before you would like it shared. Um, to social media at openstack.org. This will be funneled to the right people in our team. And if you can include any links or tags that you would like included, um, as, long as, um, as well as the drafted content, then we will be able to review that and um, make the, determine the appropriate channel for the messaging. So note that um, we, this will include the OpenStack Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And please note that during heavy periods, especially summit months and re, um, the release months prior, that not all requests will be able to be accommodated in the promotion schedule. So please get those, um, that content to, um, to, that, to that email address to, as early as you can so that we can accommodate it within the other content that we will be promoting and getting from other members of the ecosystem. <clears throat> We do have another link to the news page in case this is the first place that you land. So you, um, so you can link back to that news page that Jennifer just outlined and the editorial guidelines before submitting. <clears throat> the next one that I wanted to go over was super users. So um, we have, we're working with, some, uh, with Nicole Martinelli on our team and unfortunately she wasn't able to join the call this morning because she's at a conference. Um, but she did want me to share, they are definitely looking for uh, new content all the time. And so if you have any um, customers that you'd li like to bring forward and do a short or long case study, they'd be more than happy to um, help you bring those forward and feature them at superuser.openstack.org. And she also wanted to share that if you have someone on your team that likes, would like to share some commentary on a particular topic in the community or do a Q&A, they'd love to hear from people from a um, wide range of roles, whether it's um, an executive or an operator or a developer. They're definitely looking from just some different perspectives from people in the community to make this a really good community forum where um, we have a lot of great content and um, opinions on different topics that are hot right now. So if you have any ideas or you would like to introduce someone on your team um, to, uh, to the super user team, please email editor at openstack.org and we'll have someone from our team get back to you and, um, and make those introductions. <clears throat> the community newsletter, so if you do have content that's more appropriate for a technical audience, the community newsletter is posted on our blog at openstack.org slash blog and also shared to the community mailing list. Um, so please email stefano at openstack.org if you do have some content that you would like included here. And then um, for the OpenStack blog, if you'd like to submit a blog to run on openstack.org, please view the blog guidelines here um, as they, these are not as commercial in nature. And then you can also email social media at openstack.org if you would like to have content featured here as well. <clears throat> All right, and there is a call out here for the OpenStack Summit. Um, so the, it kind of references the speaking opportunities at the next OpenStack Summit. Um, currently, that, uh, the submission process is closed for Vancouver, um, but we will keep you up to date um, on the opening for Tokyo in the next in the several, in several months. And um, if you want to see the speaking submissions that are, have been submitted for Vancouver, voting is now open until next Monday at 5 p.m. Central. <clears throat> All right, so, um, so the next piece is about press release and quotes and press and analyst relations. Um, so if you would like a quote from someone in the OpenStack Foundation, um, please submit your announcement at least five business days before the release date. Um, sometimes the shorter amount we can turn things around, but we definitely want to make sure that um, we give enough time, especially around the busier, um, busier months, that we can make sure that your request is um, that we can accommodate your request. Um, please note that we do need the full text of the press release to review and approve it. Um, so we don't want to provide a quote or just a paragraph mentioning OpenStack without seeing the full context of the press release. Um, and then it does go through some of the branding for the, um, OpenStack in terms of the press release. Um, but please feel free to reach out to us and let us know if there's any 
um, way we can help. And we'll circle in Robert and Jennifer as well in getting those um, quotes for your press releases and the uh, time frame that you have indicated. <clears throat> All right, and then um, for press and analyst relations, um, so we're happy to be given um, to participate in any press or analyst outreach. Again, if you if you just give us um, enough heads up and the uh, nature of the announcement, um, so please contact us no later than two weeks before the scheduled announcement date if you would like us to participate in that kind of activity. Um, and if you're asked organically for comment and would like to double check messaging or just get some feedback from the foundation please contact us at marketing at openstack.org. <clears throat> so are there any questions on the different, um, the different ways you can make news with OpenStack or some of the guidelines that I went over for social media channels or super user? Okay, cool. So, um, so the, the rest of the marketing portal is um, kind of self-explanatory, but I did want to go into a little bit um, with promoting your case studies. So like I said, um, at, um, Super User is kind of um, the place where we're going to be featuring this, uh, the case studies um, moving forward. And so if you do have customers that you would like to bring forward or you would just like to talk to us about the different opportunities and timing, please reach out um, to editor at um, superuser.com or editor at openstack.org and we can kind of start moving forward with you. But um, when, when we do promote the case studies, we do have a lot of different options and it doesn't have to be something that we've necessarily um, done in the past. It can be more tailored for your customer. So if you wanted to do more of a video interview or an infographic or um, a potential webinar, we can do these different options. And we, we can um, link back to your company and offerings, um, especially if you are available in the marketplace. So um, while we don't want the case study, we want the case studies to be centric around the customer, we can um, include, of course, your company, link back to your marketplace and the different, uh, or your listing in the marketplace and the different products that you have available so that um, you are getting that visibility as well. <clears throat> Right. And did anyone have any other questions? Yeah, I have one question. This is Chris from Intel. So if we write up some case studies on our own working with customers, because we keep doing that uh, often. Um, do I just uh, do we just pro have you promote those two, or do they have to be exclusive to the foundation site? Um, no, I definitely uh, we're definitely wanting to help promote your customers um, regardless of where it's located. So yeah, please let us know where um, where you are promoting your customer, and we'd be more than happy to um, um, figure out a promotion plan with you and share the story because. Um, sharing your customer stories is successful for you and it's successful for us too. So we definitely want to share those customer stories when we can um, and help you in any way. Great. Awesome. Well, I think that is all that we have for today. Um, like Jennifer said, we will email out the link to the news page and the editorial guidelines and the marketing portal um, to the mailing list after this call. And I'll follow up um, after as well with the recording so that you, if you did miss pieces of it or you had to um, join later or jump off, then we can definitely make sure you have the full recording. Um, and please, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on the mailing list or to um, any of us individually um, at the foundation as well. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye.